GCSEs are the tests that every 16 year old in Britain does to gain the qualifications needed to obtain jobs. This year, the Math GCSE had a particularly hard question that went viral over social media. In fact, many students want the grade boundaries lowered. The thing is, why were they complaining, and just how hard was this question for them? It's time to explain with Clarify Episode 5. Earlier this month, there was a question that stumbled off many completing the higher tier of the LXL Maths GCSE. Question 19 was a question about Hannah and a sweet dilemma. The question reads... There are N sweets in a bag. Six of the sweets are orange, the rest of the sweets are yellow. Hannah takes at random a sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. Hannah then takes at random another sweet from the bag. She eats the sweet. The probability that Hannah eats two orange sweets is one third. Show that n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. So, how do you solve this question? Well, the first thing you should realize after reading the question more than once is that you are not solving the equation, but rather doing probability. When Hannah took her first sweet, there was a six over n chance that the sweet was orange, as there were six orange sweets and n total sweets. When Hannah took her second sweet, everything decreases by one, as she's in another sweet. Therefore, the number of orange sweets decreased from 6 to 5, and the number of total sweets decreased from n to n minus 1. This now means that the probability of the second sweet being orange is 5 over n minus 1. To find out the probability of Hannah eating two orange sweets, you multiply the two numbers together, so you get 6 over n multiplied by 5 over n minus 1. The question states that the probability of two orange sweets is one third, so you then consider this when rearranging the equation. 6 over n multiplied by 5n minus 1 equal to 1 third simplifies to 30 bracket n squared minus n bracket equals to 1 third, which is equal to 90 over bracket n squared minus n bracket equals to 1, and therefore bracket n squared minus n bracket equal to 90. Making the equation equal to 0 means that n squared minus n minus 90 is equal to 0, and after solving for n, you find out that n is equal to 10. So that is Hannah's sweet problem explained in the videos on YouTube. I hope this video clarified the question, and if you enjoyed this video, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe.